ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നമസ്തേ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലൈൻ ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് എ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ഇൻ എ ഈസി വേ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ബിഫോർ റൈറ്റിംഗ് എ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് വി മസ്റ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ നീഡ് ഓഫ് എ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് യൂസ് സി എ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് specifies the financial position of an entity at a particular date suppose if you want to check your financial position on today then the balance sheet is a tool to specify about your financial position on today see the balance sheet of yourself is differ from the balance sheet of your business firm because the entity is different please keep in mind before writing a balance sheet we must be in a position to understand to which entity we are going to write a balance sheet whether this is for yourself or your firm this is the most important thing see now i'll explain the balance sheet in a simple way balance sheet consisting of two heads one is assets and another one is liabilities in the balance sheet the basic fundamental principle is assets always always equal to liabilities that means assets must be balanced with the liabilities otherwise it's not a balance sheet see there are different heads under assets and there are different heads under liabilities we will look into it later on episodes but in today i'm briefly explain about the uh, what items comes under assets and how how to classify either it is an asset or a liability suppose if you want to write a balance sheet of yourself then let us assume one entry see you have purchased a house of rupees 50 lakhs then acquiring a house is a asset how you have acquired the house the house acquired by way of naturally by way of bank loan or by way of your savings or by way of your uh, uh, loan from funds and friends and family so let us assume you have purchased a house of 50 lakhs in order to purchase that house you have availed a housing loan from a bank for a tenure of 30 years 30 30 years for an amount of 35 lakhs and uh, your family helped an amount of 15 lakhs then what are the liabilities you are having the liabilities are of 35 plus 15 that is of 50 lakhs and what about at asset asset is nothing but the worth of the value of or the worth of your house that is of 50 lakhs is it tallied or not yes it is tallied assets are equal to liabilities okay now suppose if you have acquired house of 50 lakhs in order to acquire that house you have availed a contingency loan of 5 lakhs from your company which is to be repayable in 12 months and also you have acquired a house by way of availing a housing loan from the bank which is of rupees 35 lakhs and your family helped you for an amount of 10 lakhs in order to acquire that house then what's the liability side the liability side is contingency loan of 5 lakhs and 
the bank loan that is of housing loan which is of 35 lakhs and your fun loan from family and friends which is of 10 lakhs so here also the liabilities is of 50 lakhs and under the asset side the asset is of 50 lakhs here also matched see funda is without matching of assets and liabilities there is no uh, representation of a balance sheet of an entity see in the liability side if you observe there is a contingency loan which is to be repayable in 12 months see any kind of liability which is to be repayable in 12 months then that can be treated as current liability see once again any liability which is to be repayable in 12 months that can be treated as current liability and also there is a housing loan the housing loan is of 30 years 30 years this cannot be uh, uh, completed in 12 months so this cannot be comes under the current liability this comes under the long term liability long term liability so, I assume that we have finished three concepts assets liabilities and current liabilities now we will move on to balance sheet of your business firm see a business firm is different from yourself because the entity is different so, we will see how to write a balance sheet of a business firm see we must understand your business firm entity is different from your personal or individual entity okay now your business is uh, let us assume a manufacturing of bricks in order to manufacture the bricks you need a machinery and you have already having a machinery and there is a land and building is there okay and uh, at the starting of your business you have invested an amount of 5 lakhs to run the business then how can we write a balance sheet see under the asset side if you observe what are the assets machinery is an asset land and building is an asset and the stock which are available at right now that is also an asset if you sell those stocks any stock on credit basis that can be also treated an asset Let's assume the cost of the plant and machinery is of 5 lakhs and the cost of the land and building is of 5 lakhs then the cost of the bricks which are available right now that is of 5 lakhs and you have sold the bricks on credit basis which is having a worth of 1 lakh then these four comprises under asset side that means the plant and machinery that can be coined as plant and machinery the plant and machinery cost is of 5 lakhs 5 plus stock value 5 lakhs 10 lakhs plus machinery value 5 lakhs total 15 lakhs plus our sales on credit basis which is of 1 lakh total of 16 lakhs these 16 lakhs can be represented under asset side now move on to liability side under the liability side now the investment in the business is of 5 lakhs see why investment in business is under liability side because it is an obligation of a manufacturing industry to pay 5 lakhs to the owner please remember the entity owner is differ from entity of a business firm so that 
amount owner's investment can be entered under liability side and in order to install a machinery you have availed a term loan which is of rupees 5 lakhs okay and in order to run the business you have availed a working capital limit of 4 lakhs okay and you have availed a loan from your family which is of 2 lakhs okay then now sum up under the liability side one is investment under owner owner investment that is of 5 lakhs 5 plus investment sorry bank loan of rupees 5 lakhs as term loan total 10 plus working capital limit of 4 lakhs 14 plus the loan from your family and friends which is of 2 lakhs so total 14 plus 2 that is 16 under the asset side also it is 16 now matched see here the machinery what you call in order to get that machinery you have availed a term loan see this term loan can be considered as current liability only if it will be repayable in 12 months otherwise it cannot be treated as current liability okay it is also treated as either long term liability okay then there is a special term here is there that is owner's investment the owner's investment cannot be treated as a loan it can be treated as an investment so that it is called as capital okay see that can be also treated as equity then now I will once again pictureize under the liability side there are two items one is equity and another one is liabilities okay now we will redefine the definition of a balance sheet assets must be equal to equity plus liabilities assets must be equal to equity plus liabilities okay this is the way of representing the firm's balance sheet now the assets are also segregated into different types one is fixed assets and another one is non-fixed assets that is of current assets or non-current assets in order to remove the confusion i will explain current asset is nothing but it is an assets which will consume are converted into cash within 12 months then this can be treated as current asset if it cannot be consumed more than if it cannot be consumed within 12 months then it can be treated as non current assets under this non current assets there are different classifications till now we will see about fixed assets the land and building plant and machinery these can be treated as fixed assets okay in the balance sheet in today's balance sheet we can easily identify what are the fixed assets and what are the current assets and what are the current liabilities and what is meant by an equity and what is a long term liability okay hope you can understand the very 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 minimum balance sheet items in the next class i will explain furthermore in the balance sheet entries thank you for watching my